Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Travis and I'm going to be showing you how to convert your 2G alternator to a 3G alternator. I also create a weekly content on car modifications, engine swaps, um, anything ranging from step-to-step -step tutorials, drifting videos, burnout videos, anything like that. If you guys are interested in videos like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. Now that the intro is out of the way, let's get into today's video. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is um, to remove the old 2G alternator and you're going to need an 1116, at least that's what my own is, to release the tension from the belt. Just like that. Alright, now I'm going to be taking off the wiring from the alternator. This is going to be different uh, because my own is carbureted, so I just put a bunch of uh, connectors on the NMI wires, so yours might look different if your car is um, electronically fuel injected. Let's see if I could get, can't get to that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lose the top bolt from this to get to the next connector. There we go. This bolt size is gonna be different for you guys as well because I mix matched a lot of these bolts so we're just gonna put that back into itself secure that all right so we're gonna take off the lower bolt now and that's a 15 on my own like I said this is gonna be different for everyone else back it out stubborn all right that's the last bolt that holds that in this is extremely hot so I'm gonna get a rag And there you go, this is your old style uh, 2G alternator. You can tell by the clips. You can tell by the external fan. And now I'm gonna be showing you the new um, 3G alternator that I got for. This is the newest style uh, 3G alternator. Pretty much the same mounting um, bolts. The wiring is gonna be slightly different. I'm gonna show you that in a moment. But I'm gonna get this installed. I believe there's gonna be some type of modification that I have to cut out here to get this to fit. I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna do it and then show you guys what I've done. Okay, important step. Um, when installing this 3G alternator, um, the bottom bolt is gonna bolt up perfectly, but this top bolt is gonna be an issue and I'm gonna show you why. I had to um, cut this little notch out of the original bracket. It shouldn't do anything to the strength, um, but because 3G alternator bucks on the housing or bucks on the bracket, you just need to make enough of a notch to fit that bolt and I guess that piece of the housing. Um, you could now get it right where you need to, which should be like right there. Yeah, right there. And then you notice you still have a good amount of clearance but you're gonna have to do this whenever you're installing a 3g alternator i'm gonna bolt this up and get it wired up and then explain to you guys how i wired this up okay so this is the final product um, makes everything else in this engine bay look extremely old <laughs> but it's bolted into place now let me explain this wiring um it's best let me get my phone there are a s and i terminals let me see if i get that to focus right there a s and i terminals this green one let me read show you it as i read it 
This green one here goes to an ignition source. This red one I ran underneath, um, and that goes to this terminal right here by itself. This yellow one goes here to where the charge is sent back to the battery, and this is my thicker battery cable there. There is a negative or a ground right here that I'm supposed to put on, so I'll go put that on. Okay, so we now have that uh, ground wire that I was telling you about on. I just have it right here to the chassis. Now we're gonna start it up and see how it runs. Getting the key out. This is gonna be pretty loud, so I'm gonna turn it off uh, after I know that everything is running pretty good. the voltage was right in the middle right in the middle of the uh, volt gauge before with the 2g alternator it usually sit right around 9 and that was really bad so whenever you had to run lights or even the fan it would just go dead on you all right basically that's it that's how you install a 3g alternator um, especially going from 2g to 3g that's how you wire it up and that's how you would do it on any old Ford 5.0 or 3.8. Uh, any vehicle that actually has a 2G or even a 1G alternator, the 3G alternator is an extremely good alternator to get, especially if you're gonna run um, electronic fans or a better fuel pump or even um, bigger speakers or uh, brighter headlights, anything that's gonna draw power, a 3G alternator is absolutely a must. Uh, if this video helped you at all, make sure to drop a like and if you like videos like this Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video. Thank you guys so much for watching Don't forget to like share and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one